In Colin Grant's Negro with a Hat, The Rise and Fall of Marcus Garvey, the author explores the life and impact of one of the most prominent figures in the history of the black nationalist movement. Grant presents a detailed and nuanced portrait of Marcus Garvey, highlighting his successes as well as the controversies and challenges he faced throughout his career. Through meticulous research and thoughtful analysis, Grant delves into the complexities of Garvey's character, his political ideology, and the factors that contributed to his rise and fall. Grant begins by setting the historical context, providing a backdrop for understanding Garvey's rise to prominence. He explores the socio-political climate of the early 20th century, marked by racial tensions and the emergence of black nationalist movements in response to systemic oppression. Grant emphasizes Garvey's ability to captivate and inspire the masses, tracing his journey from Jamaica to the United States, where he founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA. This organization became a platform for Garvey's ideas and a vehicle for mobilizing black people around the world. One of the key strengths of Grant's analysis is his exploration of Garvey's ideology. Grant examines the central tenets of Garveyism, such as racial pride, self-determination, and the call for a separate black nation. He presents Garvey as a charismatic leader who successfully tapped into the aspirations and frustrations of the black diaspora, offering them a vision of empowerment and liberation. Grant critically assesses the merits and limitations of Garvey's ideas, acknowledging their appeal while also recognizing the controversies surrounding them. Grant also delves into the challenges Garvey faced, both internally and externally. He delves into Garvey's conflicts with other prominent black leaders of the time, such as W.E.B. Du Bois, who questioned his methods and criticized his approach to racial uplift. Grant explores the impact of Garvey's legal troubles, including his conviction for mail fraud, which ultimately led to his deportation from the United States. Grant does not shy away from addressing Garvey's flaws and failures, portraying him as a complex figure whose idealism sometimes clashed with the practical realities of political organizing. Throughout the book, Grant skillfully weaves together archival material, historical accounts, and personal anecdotes to provide a comprehensive and vivid narrative. His prose is engaging and accessible, making the book appealing to both academic and general readers. Grant's deep empathy for his subject shines through, as he paints a multifaceted portrait of Garvey, highlighting his strengths, weaknesses, and the legacy he left behind. Negro with a Hat is not merely a biography, it is also a reflection on the broader themes of race, identity, and resistance. Grant situates Garvey within the larger context of black liberation movements, exploring the enduring relevance of his ideas and the impact he had on subsequent generations of activists. The book serves as a reminder of the ongoing struggle for racial justice and the power of charismatic leadership to mobilize marginalized communities. In conclusion, Colin Grant's Negro with a Hat, The Rise and Fall of Marcus Garvey, provides a rich and nuanced exploration of one of the most influential figures in the history of the black nationalist movement. Grant's analysis is thorough, balanced, and deeply researched, offering readers a deeper understanding of Garvey's accomplishments, controversies, and the complexities of his legacy. Through his engaging prose and thoughtful insights, 
Grant brings Garvey to life and highlights the enduring relevance of his ideas in the fight against racial injustice.